Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and uh, Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading, August 5th to August 11th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and we are going to jump straight away into it. Okay, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Virgo, is going to be the Seven of Wands, followed by the second card which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. This is going to be the uh, Nine of Wands, followed by the third card which stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week here. That will be the Page of Cups. And then the last one which we do have, it is the Guidance that Tarot is offering to you and that will be the Ten of Swords. Quite self in an intense week, it is what we do have, which could play in a several ways. The first thing that came to my mind here, it is a overcoming obstruction into relationships. All right, so just to give you an example of it, let's say that you are in a relationship with a person, okay, or you are about to be in a relationship with a person, it could be the very initial stage as well. So while that person is very determined to have you in there, all right, and to be in a relationship with you, the, uh, these cards are pointing that there are other people which have an influence either upon you or upon that person that they don't want you to see you together. And therefore, this week, it is your successful stand of those people and making it so that relationship happens. That is just for an example. Or in fact, any kind of a cooperation here, it is that is to happen. And uh, this this person that we're talking about, it is very uh, aware of what it's going to take. And it's also willing to make the necessary changes that will require the cooperation to become real, all right, and to, to, to manifest itself. So before we go into all that and, and they um, break down the reading, let's run down the cards one more time. Uh, we do have the Seven of Wands, which is the general topic, followed by the Nine of Wands, which is the challenges that you need to overcome, followed by the uh, positive aspect of the person itself. We do have the Page of Cups and then the last one here, which represents the guidance. It is the Ten of Swords. All right, so Seven of Wands uh, as a general topic. Well, the Seven of Wands is all about standing your ground. Everybody knows that, as you can see that person. But the card also points that uh, you are to be either tested inwardly or tempted outwardly, or rather like tested outwardly as well. It's kind of like a, a resisting pressure, all right? Pressure of temptation or a, a pressure of, I can't say blackmailing, but more like threats and and, uh, and difficult time given you by others. Uh, usually how the thing starts to escalate with the Seven of Wands, it's through a, 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 a verbal event. What I mean here is that let's say that you are about to marry your boyfriend, but their parents doesn't want you to do so, all right? And so they start spreading rumors. 
for you cheating on him, for example, or it starts spreading gossips and so to create a, a suspicious um, in, a, in the whole situation itself. So the seven of wands can be overcome, however, guys. It's, it's difficult, but it can be done and it does require a, a very well-timed actions, which are close to a heroic attempt once to overcome their situation. It's kind of like uh, you need to adopt the standpoint that there is nothing you can lose and you have to go into the extreme in order to, uh, you know, push back the... Um, the opposition. It's like you guarding your own estate, guarding your own domain, all right? The accompanied card here is going to be the Page of Swords formation. It is a active friends that we do have. So uh, with the Page of Swords, uh, this is a another <clears throat> card here of in this combination pointing that the most of the statements made throughout the week are gonna be lies, all right? People will try to corner you presenting fictions as facts and therefore you will have to be extremely accurate with your perception to be able to discern fiction from fact because it could be other way around, all right? The family of your boyfriend, for example, all right, may tell you that your boyfriend cheated on you because your boyfriend loves someone else, okay? Or they have been meant to be with someone else and, and all these kind of stuff, you know, to, to bring down your spirit and to make you doubtful of your intentions. So whatever you do throughout the week, you shouldn't doubt even for a second what you want for yourself and what you want from your career, from your relationship and all these kind of stuff, because this is the main weapon the main arsenal of your enemies and of your rivals to make you doubt in yourself like i said and to discredit what you are going after uh, the page of swords also represents um the agile the agile mind of people therefore it could be this hit may come from those that you least expected so be uh be open for surprises throughout the week. So that leads us to the challenge here and this is going to be the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is all about persevering through patience and having also the patience of course to gather up all the means necessary so you can push through this rapidly approaching storms. That as well involve making some changes into your behavior, you know, into, into your routine as well. So that is going to be the challenge. So as soon as the opposition appear, you will have that urge to retaliate straight away. But what we said is that you need to well time your retaliation. Therefore, it is best if at the start of this opposition, you keep your mouth shut and just observe, observe for weaknesses into your antagonists. The accompanied card here is going to be the King of Wands. Uh, the formation, it is a active supporters that we do have. So with the King of Wands, it's it's more like an, an ambitious drive that you're gonna have and as well, how can I place it? Well, let's say that you're gonna have some aces into your sleeves here, uh, ready to shot with them, but you need to know with these two cards that you do have only one shot. And while, you know, you may also have the weapons on your behalf as well, right? Uh, they may do actually more damage than, uh, than, than it's needed not just to the people around but also to yourself as well so the whole point with these two cards as an active supporters here is to uh, form your strategy very accurately right because I will give it uh, I will give it uh, this example here it is better to scare people off rather than to kill people off it's like you know having a uh, that situation with let's say a terrorist and a counter-terrorist unit and, um, you know, while the counter-terrorist unit, ha unit has the weapon, they may not kill the terrorists, but instead, you know, shoot them in the foot and kind of de um, <clears throat> not decapitate them, but let's say disarm them, all right? And it's a win-win it's a situation. So that, that's my point here with these two cards, Virgo, that you have to use your leverage very um very mindful and, and, and as well in a in a very clever way because otherwise you may waste all of your trumps shooting in a random directions 
without achieving much for yourself. So the uh, positive aspect of the week is going to be the Page of Cups and we do have the person of cooperation here very well emotionally involved with you regardless of the, if this is a, a co-worker or a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend you know or, or just a friend or something now this person really wants to be by your side because they developed an emotional attachment it could be a friendship love you know it could be as well a um, an intimate love as well but the thing with the page is that they are more attending to the overview rather to the details so only thing what my point here is the only thing what they see it is how beautiful is going to be they having you by your side therefore they're willing to readopt standpoints so they can have you by their side all right and uh, this is also expected from you to do as well. The page is always a, a sign of, of, of looming change on the horizon and uh, this change involves this person as well. So <clears throat> as the change come around, one could change as well. So here the question to me is how willing you are to, to, to make the necessary change so you can fit with the whole routine of the page of cups. The accompanied card here is going to be the five of swords formation. It is a passive neutrals that we do have. So I would say that the page here is going a bit out of itself. What I mean is that they are rather over exaggerating the uh, limits and their personal limits, excuse me, and their personal capabilities. But what that does, actually, it's a very positive thing. It, it does um, exert a positive attitude and as well how do you say it uh, when you have a um, uh, only beneficial expectations toward the future so what the the whole point of these couple of cards is that the page is going to make sure to you that moving forward without you if you don't want it all right uh, it's it's out of the question so pretty much that they're willing to do whatever it takes in order to uh, to have you on their team or to be with you in a relationship or to have you in their social circle, even if that costs them more than they actually know right now. So uh, the last card here, which is the guidance for you, that is to be the Ten of Swords. And uh, Ten of Swords actually urges you to be very drastic with your approach toward the situation itself when the time comes right, all right? When the time comes right, the uh, universe will expect you from you to do what it takes, what it's needed, meaning irrevocable decision and irreversible actions, things that you would that you usually won't do under normal circumstances, but the circumstances ain't normal anymore, all right? And the the Ten of Swords points that there is uh, a new dawn coming, but this new dawn has to be earned and do you have what it takes to earn it? Well, that depends entirely on you, okay? Because if we're following this example, let's say that, uh, you know, you want to be with someone so much, but your family does not approve them and they are start whispering in your ears things about what is going to happen when you are in a relationship with them, how your family is going to withdraw support and all these kind of stuff. And so this card points that the time comes that you need to make up your mind. And should you want this new dawn meaning be with this person you have to cut off your family it's, it's just it, it how it works okay with the ten of swords you lose something for a favor of something else you cannot have all so you have to make up your mind at that point the accompanied card here is going to be the queen of wands formation it is a active friends that we do have well with the queen of wands uh it's it's a combination uh, representing the um, the tenacious drive of one enjoying life as much as life can be enjoyed at a certain state so what that really means in your case here uh, is that uh, when the time comes for you to make up your mind and to do all these actions you know and all these decisions you are only you are going to do them in favor of yourself and not in favor of anybody else which is 
the best way how one should act to be honest so if you for example if you're feeling miserable with your family and happy with this person if your family puts pressures you to leave that person because otherwise they are going to withdraw support well it is obvious what you're gonna do the point here with the queen of uh, with the queen of wands to the ten of swords it is that it almost look like as uh, like a sacrificing one thing over another when the time comes right all right deflecting this other thing and successfully resisting an, an opposition by cutting off the leverage of the opposition because when the opposition doesn't have any leverage anymore against you it's not an opposition at all you know if if it is a weakness that does not make you weak or rather like how can i place it if it is a disadvantage that doesn't make you weak then it's not a disadvantage at all all right so that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for August 5th to August 11th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.